I came across a story that I think needs talking about, where a young woman who was consuming kale in her smoothies and eating broccoli regularly ran into some serious health problems. But after limiting broccoli and kale, she said everything improved. So first I want to look at a viral video that's had over 7 million views on TikTok, made by a medical doctor, which I think explains why she possibly made this connection. Broccoli is bullshit. You guys have heard me say it before, but I'm going to keep saying it because you need to hear it. Broccoli is part of the brassica family of plants. This family of plants contains compounds like isothiocyanate, which prevent the absorption of iodine in your thyroid, which leads to lower levels of thyroid hormones, low energy, weight gain, fatigue, malaise. Broccoli is also a common cause of gas, bloating, GI issues. You know this. You know that you are eating broccoli and you are farting afterwards. I know what's happening to you. I am giving you permission to stop eating broccoli. You don't need this in your life. Get the nutrients you need from meat and organs, the less toxic plant foods, which are fruits. You don't need to feel guilty about not eating broccoli. It's not good for you, and it's bullshit. So get it out of your life. Your gut and your friends will thank you. Isothiocyanates, ITCs, are the powerful anti-cancer phytochemicals found in broccoli, but they're also goitrogenic, which seems to impact the thyroid to some extent. And an article online linked below that got a ton of traction said that ITCs are a double-edged sword. This study found, quote, it should be underlined that eating raw cruciferous vegetables, especially in high amounts, may increase the risk of the negative impact on the thyroid, while the cooking process reduces this effect. And what about the harm to your gut? Well, we'll discuss this at the end of the video. So how much raw cruciferous is too much? And is there anything we can do to mitigate this? Well, let's hear now from Dr. Michael Greger. And then we'll come back and look at two important studies. How could one possibly eat too much kale? Well, there are natural goitrogenic compounds in this family of vegetables that can interfere with thyroid function in people with marginal iodine intake. They can block the thyroid's uptake of iodine. But the answer is not to avoid these super healthy foods, just to get enough iodine in our diet. Still, though, you can overdo anything. How much is too much? I specify raw here because an enzyme that releases these compounds is deactivated by cooking, so you don't have to worry about eating cooked cruciferous. But how much raw is too much? The New England Journal of Medicine. Coma induced by raw bok choy. She was eating about uh, three pounds a day every day, which means 15 cups a day is definitely too much. Now, each cruciferous vegetable has a different amount of these compounds, so you could probably get away with theoretically 55 zero cups of raw cauliflower a day, but just three cups of raw mustard greens a day is too much. This fascinating study on broccoli sprouts, which are rich in ITCs, in human controlled trials where they tested numerous markers of thyroid function, found no abnormal levels with any of the sprout extracts. And this new impressive review reassures us by highlighting the huge benefits of consuming broccoli, which include anti-inflammatory, antioxidant and anti-cancer effects, to name just a few. But what about the negative impact on our gut? Well, we'll discuss this next. <laughs> 